Besides eating cereal with water, what is the most outrageous eating sin you have ever witnessed? The wife dips Aureus in water like a psychopath. When I visited my aunt's family as a kid she served a purple cow, milk mixed with grape juice, for breakfast. If you haven't tasted that, take my word for it, it's not a great concoction. In elementary school, we used to mix the milk and juice the school gave us for breakfast to puke and get sent home early. Apple juice and milk usually work the best. I think grape juice and milk was a close second. I work at a pub slash restaurant waiting tables. This couple walks in who I've never seen, but are apparently regulars. The bartender sees them, shoots me a glance, and goes to grab something from the kitchen. Before even taking their order, he's filled the crushed red pepper shaker and told me to take it over to them. The woman orders a small cup of French onion soup and proceeds to unscrew the cap of this shaker and dump the entire retty of it onto her soup, an inch high off the top of her bowl. She's eating this spicy red pepper like cereal and didn't even ask for a drink refill. She must be dead inside and desperately trying to feel something. I had a friend who went through a period where cake decorating was her hobby and she made some amazing looking cakes that all tasted horrible because of the bizarre flavor combinations. It was always a bit funny because people would compliment the look of them and then have to figure out how to throw their pieces away without being rude about it. The worst one was a Christmas cake with an immaculate looking fondant Rudolph the red nosed reindeer that was an orange spice cake covered in mint icing. It was like brushing your teeth and rinsing with orange juice in cake form. I used to be obsessed with A1. I would put it on everything possible because I loved it so much. One day I put it on Jello. I no longer enjoy A1. My sister would make Ritz cracker sandwiches, except the thing that went between the two Ritz cracker buns was another Ritz cracker, except chewed up and spit out it was disgusting. I wasn't going to tell this story, but here I am. As a kid I would eat a whole bag of Doritos without swallowing, and then I'd spit out the pulverized chip dust and saliva mixture and roll it into a ball with my hands, and then let it harden a bit in my desk at school between first and second break, and then eat it again during lunch, when the outside was a bit crunchy again, but the inside was still moist and the consistency of a chocolate truffle. A ketchup brownie. My cousin, this son of a bee. I hope he's arrested. My mom puts peanut butter on cold pizza. It is the closest flavor to vomit that is not vomit. You've got to add orange juice for that authentic vomit flavor. When I was a server, I had a customer dip her bread in a glass of coke. She finished her whole bread basket and coke and asked for another basket and another refill of coke and went to town again for round two. She didn't give a crap how she looked and ate that shit like it was the best thing on earth. A watermelon and ketchup sandwich. I call it a sandwich because it makes me sad. Is the watermelon the bun? Or does this monstrosity desecrate bread, too? Clearly the ketchup is the bun. Stay right where you are, the police are on their way. About to live the rest of his life as a convicted melon. Friend's mom used to eat soy sauce with ice cream. Dude in my dining hall had a plate of sunny side up eggs. Scooped under an egg with his fork, brought it up to his mouth, and only touched his lips to the yolk. Proceeded to suck all the yolk and then slurped the rest of the egg in. It was like a car crash. I couldn't look away, but I was horrified. Mom's boyfriend crushed cheesed crackers into his coffee. That day he ate waffles covered in spinach and fish sticks drizzled with syrup. All the while loudly smacking his lips saying ooh are so good. Mom says don't let it bother me. It bothers me. My baby sister used to eat pancakes and ranch. My mom just accepted it because she was such a picky eater and this was something she just thoroughly enjoyed. We are pretty sure it's cause my mom craved both when she was pregnant with her. My sister used to put ketchup on strawberries. This is why she had to be disappeared, isn't it? Dipping Aureus in orange juice. That just made me cringe. Poor, poor Aureus. Poor Aureus. Fried eggs with chocolate, melted on the yolk. Peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwich. Good god. What the hell is wrong with these people? I mean, you could just lie down in a ditch and die instead. The guy on 4chan who fermented a bottle of his own semen into liquor. I'm sorry, what? A couple of years ago when my best friend and I were still in college, she stayed over at mine a few times. It was then that I learned that she liked dipping cheese into hot chocolate. Like, full on dunking it in, waiting for it to partially melt, swelling it around, and then eating it. I love her to bits. 
She's like my kid sister, but I still haven't entirely recovered. I live with someone who lives to eat food since. Do you really think water with cereal is bad? Boy, the thing I would consider the least of eating sins would be when she microwaved a fucking pickle with cheese on it, then dipped in fucking ice cream. I can't stand to sit in the kitchen when she's in there because of the shit she made. She pulled a slice of pizza out of the trash, put cough syrup on it, and topped it off with a moldy fucking grape. She soaked a slice of bread with grape soda, froze it, then ate it after it fell into cigarette asks. A cosmic brownie dipped in fucking nacho cheese. She made a peanut butter and jam sandwich with American cheese, saltine crackers, and grapes. She for some reason really likes old grapes. I know there's more, but I'm afraid people will think I'm making this shit up if I tell anything else worse. Does your roommate happen to be 10 raccoons in a trench coat? In college I would sometimes drain the water out of my shrimp cup o' noodles and mix in a big spoonful of peanut butter. I honestly don't know what to tell you other than I did it once out of boredom, it wasn't terrible, and it made my life interesting. Apple slices dipped in mustard. It was hard to watch. Well I just saw that Teen's mayonnaise has come out with a Cadbury eggs mayonnaise, and I'm really concerned for the people who eat that abomination. WH, what? This one guy had taken hummus and dipped his fucking pop at all in it and ate it. My preteen cousin likes his scrambled eggs crunchy and adds broken up eggs shells to them. I don't like this. What? And I cannot stress this enough. The fuck? I went on a double date to a fancy restaurant with a friend once. His GF got a $60 pork chop and asked for ketchup. The staff weren't even sure they had any but found some in the back that they saved for the kids meals. She only ate half of the chop because she wouldn't eat any of the pieces with char on them. She dumped ketchup all over the whole thing, even the parts she wouldn't eat. So what he took home was soaked in ketchup. Dude broke up with her shortly after. My grandparents like peanut butter and pickle sandwiches, so I've been told. I'd imagine if you grilled the bread and pickle and then applied peanut butter it'd be good as fuck. Melty warmed peanut butter. Man you'd bite into the crunch of the buttered bread and be welcomed with smooth warm peanut butter and then a snap and crunch of a pickle with that little spark of flavor. Shit. I wanna make this. I'm gonna do this. Edit 1. Okay so I have the wrong peanut butter. I'd want smooth not chunky. And the wrong pickles. I'd want those thin long slices. But I'm gonna make do. Edit. 2. Before close. Edit 3. Quick cross section edit 4. Holy shit this actually pretty good. Use smooth peanut butter if you do it though for sure. But it's pretty ducking tasty. Edit 5. Okay I seriously dig this sandwich. I devoured it like an animal over the cutting board. It's so good and warm. Pineapple with mayonnaise. Peanut butter hot dog. Hot dogs literally engulf the flavor of anything you put on them as I've learned with whipped cream and cheese at different times. So the other afternoon I was a bit tipsy and making sandwiches for my husband and I. I had a hankering for curried egg sandwiches but couldn't find the keens. So I made it with digin mustard and seeded mustard. When hubby asked me wtf I was thinking and how the seeded mustard really put him off I said I was attempting deviled eggs. He said it was the devil alright. Write your stories in the comments below. Like and subscribe to my youtube channel.